Hmm, want to see my merchandise? Show me what you have to sell. With pleasure. So, did you get to the Shadow Line? Did you free the prisoners? Yeah, I found them and freed them. And I found out some interesting things about the site. After what we've just done, I'm not sure we need more information. We're going to be able to enter Shadow Lair and attack the Source. You want to leave soon, right? You wouldn't want us to still be around when Abundance shows up, would you? What? How? One of the prisoners heard about your alliance from some dying guy. A former member of the Resistance was your liaison with the other guild? How could you do that? Don't you see? It was the only way to weaken and disperse the Technomancers enough so we could hope to defeat them! Abundance is ready to support the government we'll be setting up. And with their help, we'll finally have a chance. At the expense of Greenhope, which has already cost Aurora a lot of blood. What does that matter now? Aurora doesn't need Greenhope. What we really need is freedom. A future. And you really believe Abundance's promises? Don't you think the only thing they're interested in is getting a hold of this site? Maybe. But once we have the source, we'll set up a new government. A government of the people. Then we'll be stronger than ever, and Abundance won't be able to do a thing against us. Roy, you know that without me, the Resistance would be nothing. That I'm ready to give everything for it. I think this business is pretty shady, and I'm afraid Aurora will end up regretting it, but you may have a point. Without Abundance's help at the site, we probably won't be able to get rid of the Technomancers. I'm glad you see the stakes in all this. Like you said, we have to leave here soon. They're going to hit us at any minute now, and this is our chance to take the Source. We have to leave as soon as possible, but remember, there's no going back. I have a few things to do here. I need a bit of time before going. All right. Come back and see me when you're ready. But don't take too long. We can't be here when Abundance attacks. Later. Ready to go? Abundance will be attacking soon. We can go. I'm ready. He's one of your friends coming with us. I'd like Mary to come with us. Technomancers like to stick together, right? Even the Renegades, it seems. All right, let's go. We're finally leaving Greenhope, fleeing before Abundance gets here, after shedding light on the activities of the Technomancers and weakening them. Not only did we sabotage their excavation site, but we also discovered the inhuman experiments they were carrying out on the defiant citizens of Aurora. We've won enough here for now, and hope they'll fall, along with the dowser that's backing them, so they'll have to confront their madness. I even managed to get my hands on the serial killer who was stalking Shadow Lair. It may seem almost trivial, but it's still good news. Particularly as things are far from rosy, Marco's debatable choice has lost green hope to us. But we have to go on to the next chapter and keep moving forward. Mary is with me. One more Technomancer will be more than welcome in this march on the Source. Because the Tyrant will be well protected, and it's time we settled a few scores.
know the place. Think you can guide us? When I was a kid, I was confined to the Technomancer's buildings. I wasn't allowed on these floors. Never mind. We'll find Wisdom's offices, and he'll have to admit what he's done in front of everyone. Yesterday's hero will see that we weren't fooled, and that the citizens of Aurora won't let him get away with it. But for now, be careful. The Source Guards have a mean reputation in combat. They don't scare me. You've been a good ally, despite my reservations. But I'm interested in knowing why you're here. I saw innocents get executed. He didn't deserve to die like that. Wisdom and his thugs will pay for what they did to him.
you're just going to enter this office and everything will be taken care of? I do hope everything will be taken care of, but I'd rather you stay in here. It'd be better just to go with Marco. I don't really like that man. He hides behind his ideas, but he's no better than the Source people. What he can't control, he kills. You're probably right, I admit, but don't worry. I'll be on my guard. Wait for me here, and don't worry. We'll find out soon enough. base Aurora in the eyes of the other guilds if he humiliated its dowser. I couldn't allow that. You protected a criminal. A man who didn't hesitate to let the Technomancers take power and massacre the militia and its opponents. I was sure you wouldn't understand what was at stake here, but I'm ready to answer for my actions. You think you're protected because you're a hero. The only thing you deserve is to die in the same way as your friend, like a dog. Are you sure you want to kill him? Won't it make him a martyr? This type of thing could be used by those who still support the government. You saw what he did, and what he let others do. All those people who died because of their thirst for power. You really want to spare him? I know what he did, but it's not up to us to decide if he lives. Given his crimes, he has to appear in front of a judge, in front of the people. Even if it's just putting off the inevitable? I thank you, Roy. Is that how you seek vengeance? by sparing one of those who could have saved innocents? All right. We'll do as you say, Roy. But you'll have to leave the Resistance. It's not clear that you're committed enough for us to keep you with us. After your compromise with Abundance, I'm not sure I'd have wanted to stay anyway. Bye, Marco. Resistance and right ideas of freedom for the people, I've committed sabotage, spied, even killed. For the sake of a man who, in the name of his ideas, didn't hesitate to betray his guild. But the end sometimes justifies the means. Thanks to our actions, the Technomancers are now under constant resistance surveillance. Their dreams of power are at an end, this time. Marco even wanted to destroy the Order, but I managed to get him to understand it would be a mistake. Aurora needs them regardless. Mary once thought about joining them, but I convinced her to stay with me. Whatever the future holds, at least we'll meet it together. Tenacity has decided to hunt for the Resistance. He's looking for traitors. Anyone and everyone suspected of participating in all the horrible things. This will probably lead to a lot of cleansing. Judy hates the idea, but she can't stop the people from holding grudges, and stopping Marco's fanaticism is even harder. Aurora will have to set up a new government. I hope, of course, that it'll be more just, but I'm not dreaming. There will always be tyrants, ready to take over the guild, ready to dominate the people for their own ends. And to be honest, Marco fits the profile perfectly. As usual, Judy will keep debating to try to defend her dream, and she even asked me to help, but since I'm no longer welcome there, I'm thinking of leaving Chatelaire and going to another city where I'll be able to see how things turn out. The battle is clearly not over yet. Abundance won't give up the struggle despite Marco's politicking. If he thought giving them green hope would be enough for them, even though we still have a war hero, he'll soon be sent to trial. If they let him off, I fear he'll just become the leading opponent of the new government. Anyway, for the moment, life goes on and Aurora can now dream of a better future. One that innocents who sacrificed himself for this dream will never know.
Here ends the war log of Innocent Smith, a diary I have continued of late. Goodbye, kid.